A Civil War veteran who died years ago will finally be laid to rest this Friday in Portland. Peter Jones was the youngest of 13 children and the last one to die. And as Coin Local 6 reporter Cor Harlan shows us, after he passed away, his remains laid unclaimed for 88 years. Peter Knapp volunteered for the Union Army back in 1861, part of the 5th Iowa Infantry. Fire! Captured by Confederates at the Battle of Missionary Ridge, he survived the notorious Andersonville prisoner of war camp in the Civil War. After the war, Knapp moved to the Longview, Kelso area. His obituary says he died there in the arms of his wife, April 13, 1924. His remains were sent to the old Portland Crematorium, now Wilhelm's funeral home at Southeast 14th and Bybee. He was cremated, and for all these years, these intervening years, his boxed up remains have sat on a shelf, unclaimed and unloved until now. This is just really overwhelming. I mean, really. Alice Knapp's curiosity about her own family tree led her to Peter Knapp's remains. She still remembers taking possession of the box that Peter's remains are in. It was a gold box. Both he and his wife were placed in this gold box. and It had a ribbon around it and had a seal on it. Peter will be buried Friday at Willamette National Cemetery. He'll be the only Civil War veteran laid to rest here. Alice says the burial service will help bring her family closer, link them a little more to their own past. And Alice hopes that in some unknown way it will also bring some satisfaction to Peter Knapp, who will be buried finally 88 years to the day after he died. I think he and his wife would have some kind of satisfaction of being next to each other. Reporting for you, Cor Harlan, Coin Local 6. Cor, thank you.